Have you ever felt drawn to a certain shape or picture, but couldn't explain why? Maybe you've seen people wearing special necklaces or hanging dream catchers in their homes. These aren't just pretty decorations, they're spiritual symbols, and they have the power to change your life in amazing ways. Spiritual symbols are like secret keys that can open doors to inner peace, personal growth, and a deeper understanding of the world around us. They're not just for monks or mystics, anyone can use them to make their everyday life better. In this video, we're going to explore how these simple shapes and images can have a big impact on your happiness, your goals, and even your relationships. Think about it, we're surrounded by symbols every day. From the logos on our favorite brands to the emojis we use in text messages, symbols are a universal language that speaks to something deep inside us. But spiritual symbols take this power to a whole new level. They tap into ancient wisdom and connect us to something bigger than ourselves. Whether it's a cross, a yin-yang, or a tree of life, these symbols carry meanings that can inspire us, comfort us, and help us see the world in new ways. Now you might be thinking, that sounds nice, but how can a simple picture really change my life? Well, that's exactly what we're going to discover together. We'll look at how people have used these symbols for thousands of years, and more importantly, how you can use them in your own life to find more happiness, peace, and success. So get ready, to unlock the secrets of spiritual symbols and see how they can transform your daily life in ways you never imagined. Here's the thing. If you're not using spiritual symbols in your life, you might be missing out on some really powerful tools for personal growth and happiness. It's like having a Swiss army knife in your pocket, but never opening it up to use all the cool gadgets inside. Spiritual symbols are a bit like that, they're simple on the outside, but they have all these amazing uses that can make your life easier and more fulfilling. Imagine going through your day feeling stressed, overwhelmed, or just a bit lost. Now picture having a small reminder with you, maybe a symbol on a piece of jewelry or a card in your wallet that instantly helps you feel calm, focused, and connected to what really matters. That's the kind of difference spiritual symbols can make. They're like little anchors that keep you steady when life gets stormy. A quick way to calm down when you're feeling anxious. A boost of confidence when you need it most. A reminder of your deepest values and goals. A sense of connection to something bigger than yourself. These might seem like small things, but they can add up to make a big difference in how you feel day to day. Without spiritual symbols, you might find yourself feeling more stressed, less focused, and not as in touch with your inner self. It's like trying to navigate without a map. You can do it, but it's a lot harder, and you might miss out on some amazing destinations along the way. The good news is, it's never too late to start using spiritual symbols in your life. And the best part? You don't need any special skills or knowledge to get started. All you need is an open mind and a willingness to try something new. In the rest of this video, we'll explore how you can choose and use spiritual symbols in ways that feel right for you. So let's dive in and discover how these powerful tools can help you create the life you've always wanted. Now that we've talked about why spiritual symbols are so important, let's dive into what they actually are. Spiritual symbols are like a special language that speaks to our hearts and minds. They're shapes, pictures, or designs that have deep meanings connected to our beliefs, values, and the big questions of life. These symbols have been around for as long as humans have been drawing and creating art. Think of spiritual symbols as little packages of wisdom. Each one carries a message or an idea that can help us understand ourselves and the world better. For example, a circle might represent wholeness or eternity. A tree might stand for growth and connection between heaven and earth. 
These symbols are like shorthand for big, complex ideas that might be hard to explain in words. In ancient Egypt, the Ankh symbol stood for life and immortality. It looks like a cross with a loop at the top. In Buddhism, the lotus flower is super important. It shows how we can grow from muddy, difficult situations into something beautiful and pure. Native American cultures use the dream catcher, a web-like design that's said to catch bad dreams and let good ones through. In Hinduism, the OM symbol represents the sound of the universe and is used in meditation. The yin-yang symbol from Chinese philosophy shows how opposite forces can actually work together and balance each other out. These are just a few examples, but there are so many more out there. The amazing thing is that even though these symbols come from different times and places, they often share similar meanings. It's like there's a universal language of the soul that people all over the world have tapped into. But spiritual symbols aren't just ancient history. They're still super relevant today. You might see people wearing a hamsa hand for protection or using a mandala design to help them focus during meditation. Some folks might have a cross necklace to remind them of their faith, while others might get a tree of life tattoo to show their connection to family and nature. The key thing to remember is that spiritual symbols are for everyone. You don't have to follow a specific religion or believe in any particular idea to use them. These symbols are tools that can help anyone who wants to add a little more meaning, peace or inspiration to their daily life. As we go through the rest of this video, we'll look at how these symbols actually work their magic and how you can start using them in your own life. Whether you're dealing with stress, looking for motivation, or just want to feel more connected to the world around you, there's a spiritual symbol out there that can help. So let's keep exploring and see how these powerful little images can make a big difference in your everyday life. Have you ever wondered how a simple picture or shape can have such a powerful effect on us? It's all about the connection between our minds and our hearts. Spiritual symbols work like a bridge, linking our thoughts and feelings to something deeper inside us. When we look at a spiritual symbol, it's not just our eyes that are seeing it. Our brain starts to process the image, and that's when the magic happens. These symbols tap into something called our subconscious mind. That's the part of our brain that's always working in the background, even when we're not aware of it. It's like the behind-the-scenes crew of a big show. You don't see them, but they're making everything happen. Spiritual symbols speak directly to this subconscious part of our mind. They bypass all the noise and chatter of our everyday thoughts and hit us right in the feelings. That's why you might feel a sudden sense of calm when you see a peaceful nature symbol or a burst of energy when you look at a symbol of strength. But it's not just about the symbol itself. It's also about the meaning we give it. When we learn what a symbol stands for, or when we choose a symbol that feels important to us, we're creating a personal connection to it. Every time we see that symbol, it reminds us of those meanings and feelings. It's like having a secret code that only we understand. Here's a cool thing about how symbols work. They can actually change how we think and feel over time. When we use a symbol regularly, like wearing it on a necklace or putting it up in our room, it's like we're training our brain. We're constantly reminding ourselves of the ideas and feelings that symbol represents. Over time, this can help us develop new habits, change our outlook on life, and even boost our confidence. Symbols also work by giving us a focal point for our thoughts and emotions. When life gets crazy and our minds are all over the place, looking at a spiritual symbol can help us center ourselves. It's like a mental reset button. We focus on the symbol and suddenly all the other stuff fades into the background for a moment. So whether it's bringing us peace, inspiring us to be better, 
or just reminding us of what's really important in life, spiritual symbols work by creating a powerful link between what we see and how we feel. They're like little signposts guiding us on our journey through life, helping us navigate the ups and downs with a bit more grace and understanding. Now that we know how spiritual symbols work, let's talk about the good stuff, all the ways they can make your life better. Using spiritual symbols isn't just about feeling more spiritual. It's about improving your everyday life in real, practical ways. First up, let's talk about stress relief. We all know how tough life can get sometimes. Work, relationships, and just the general craziness of the world can leave us feeling overwhelmed. This is where spiritual symbols can be super helpful. Having a calming symbol nearby, like a peaceful mandala or a serene Buddha figure, can be like having a mini vacation for your mind. When you're feeling stressed, you can take a moment to look at your symbol, take a deep breath, and feel some of that tension melt away. It's like having a reset button for your mood. Another big benefit is improved focus and concentration. In a world full of distractions, it can be hard to stay on track. Spiritual symbols can act like mental anchors, helping us stay grounded and focused on what's important. For example, using a symbol that represents clarity or wisdom while you're studying or working can help you stay concentrated on the task at hand. It's like having a silent reminder telling you, hey, you've got this, stay focused. Spiritual symbols can also boost your confidence and self-esteem. When you choose a symbol that represents strength, courage, or personal growth, you're reminding yourself of your own inner power. Every time you see that symbol, it's like a little pep talk. It can help you face challenges with more courage and believe in yourself more. Imagine having a symbol of a mountain with you. It could remind you that you're strong and can overcome any obstacle, just like a mountain stands tall against the weather. One of the most powerful benefits of spiritual symbols is how they can help us feel more connected to ourselves, to others, and to the world around us. In our busy lives, it's easy to feel disconnected or lost. Spiritual symbols can act like little reminders of our place in the bigger picture. They can help us feel part of something larger than ourselves, which can be really comforting and inspiring. Spiritual symbols can also improve our relationships. Some symbols represent love, harmony, or unity. When we keep these symbols in our homes or wear them, they can remind us to be more patient, kind, and understanding with the people in our lives. It's like having a gentle nudge to be our best selves in our interactions with others. Lastly, using spiritual symbols can help us stay true to our values and goals. Life can be distracting, and sometimes we forget what's really important to us. Having symbols that represent our deepest beliefs and aspirations can keep us on track. They're like little reminders of the person we want to be and the life we want to create. The great thing about all these benefits is that they're available to anyone. You don't need any special skills or knowledge to start using spiritual symbols in your life. All it takes is finding symbols that resonate with you and incorporating them into your daily routine. As you do this, you might be surprised at how these simple images can have such a positive impact on so many areas of your life. Choosing the right spiritual symbols for you is a personal journey. It's all about finding what really speaks to your heart and feels meaningful to you. Remember, there's no right or wrong choice here. The best symbol for you is the one that feels right. Start by thinking about what's important in your life right now. Are you looking for more peace? Do you need a boost of courage? Or maybe you want to feel more connected to nature. Your current needs and goals can be a great guide in choosing your symbols. For example, if you're going through a tough time and need strength, you might be drawn to symbols like a lion or an oak tree. 
It's also helpful to look at symbols from different cultures and traditions. You don't have to stick to symbols from your own background. Sometimes, a symbol from a completely different culture might resonate with you in a surprising way. Do some research, look at pictures of different symbols, and see which ones catch your eye or give you a good feeling. Pay attention to your gut feelings. When you look at different symbols, notice how they make you feel. Does a particular symbol make you feel calm, excited, inspired? These emotional reactions can be a good indicator that a symbol is right for you. It's like when you meet a new friend. Sometimes you just click, and it's the same with symbols. Don't be afraid to mix and match. You're not limited to just one symbol. You might find that different symbols work for different areas of your life. Maybe you use a peace symbol for stress relief, a spiral for personal growth, and a heart for relationships. It's all about creating a personal toolbox of symbols that work for you. Remember that the meaning of a symbol can be personal to you. While many symbols have traditional meanings, what matters most is what the symbol means to you. If a butterfly symbolizes freedom to you, then that's what it means, even if others see it differently. As you choose your symbols, think about how you'll use them in your daily life. Will you wear them as jewelry, put them up as artwork in your home, use them in meditation? The way you plan to use the symbols can influence your choice. A complex mandala might be great as a poster, but tricky to wear as a necklace. Lastly, don't rush the process. Choosing your spiritual symbols is a personal and sometimes gradual journey. You might find that certain symbols appeal to you for a while, and then your preferences change as you grow and change. That's totally normal. Be open to exploring new symbols and letting go of ones that no longer resonate with you. Remember, the goal is to find symbols that inspire you, comfort you, and help you in your daily life. Trust your instincts, explore different options, and have fun with the process. The right symbols for you are out there, waiting to bring more meaning and positivity into your life. Ways to use symbols every day, bringing the sacred into your routine. Now that you've chosen your spiritual symbols, let's explore how to weave them into your daily life. The key is to find ways that feel natural and meaningful to you. Here are some ideas to get you started. Wear your symbols as jewelry. This is one of the easiest and most popular ways to keep your symbols close. A necklace with your chosen symbol can serve as a constant reminder of your intentions or beliefs. Every time you touch it, or catch a glimpse of it in the mirror, you'll be reminded of its meaning. Bracelets, rings, or even anklets can work just as well. Create a sacred space in your home. Dedicate a small area in your living space to display your spiritual symbols. This could be a shelf, a corner of your bedroom, or even a whole room if you have the space. Arrange your symbols along with other meaningful objects like candles, crystals, or photos. This space can become your go-to spot for meditation, reflection, or just a moment of peace in your busy day. Use symbols in your meditation or mindfulness practice. If you meditate, try focusing on a symbol that represents your current goal or intention. You can visualize the symbol in your mind's eye or have a physical representation in front of you. This can help deepen your practice and give your mind something concrete to focus on. Incorporate symbols into your workspace. Whether you work from home or in an office, having your symbols nearby can help you stay centered and focused. A small figurine on your desk, a symbolic screensaver, or even a symbolic doodle in your notebook can serve as a subtle reminder of your goals and values throughout the workday. Use symbols in your journaling or art. If you keep a journal or enjoy creative activities, try incorporating your chosen symbols into your work. You could draw them, write about their meanings, 
or use them as inspiration for larger pieces of art. This can be a great way to explore the symbol's meanings more deeply. Set up reminders on your phone or computer. In our digital age, we can use technology to keep our symbols in mind. Set your phone's wallpaper to an image of your chosen symbol or use symbol-inspired alerts for important reminders. Use symbols in your self-care routine. Incorporate your symbols into your relaxation or self-care practices. For example, you could use a lotion with a symbolic scent, do yoga poses that mimic your chosen symbols, or listen to music that incorporates symbolic sounds or chants. Share the meaning with others. Talking about your symbols with friends or family can deepen your connection to them and spread positivity. You don't need to preach, but sharing what a symbol means to you can lead to meaningful conversations and connections. Remember, the goal is to make your symbols a natural part of your daily life. Start small with one or two ways of incorporating them and see how it feels. You might be surprised at how quickly these small reminders can start to have a big impact on your day-to-day -day experience. Let's take a moment to try a simple exercise that can help you connect more deeply with your chosen spiritual symbol. This exercise is something you can do anytime you need a moment of peace or want to reinforce the meaning of your symbol. First, find a quiet, comfortable place where you won't be disturbed for a few minutes. If you have a physical representation of your symbol, place it in front of you. If not, you can simply picture it in your mind. Take a few deep breaths to center yourself. Breathe in slowly through your nose and out through your mouth. Feel yourself becoming more relaxed with each breath. Now, focus your attention on your symbol. If it's a physical object, really look at it. Notice its shape, its colors, any patterns or details. If you're visualizing it, try to make the image as clear as possible in your mind. As you look at or visualize your symbol, think about what it means to you. What feelings does it bring up? What ideas or goals does it represent? Let these thoughts and feelings wash over you. Take another deep breath, and as you exhale, imagine that you're breathing out any stress or negative energy. As you inhale, picture yourself drawing in the positive energy of your symbol. Spend a few moments just being with your symbol. You don't need to think about anything in particular. Just let yourself experience the connection between you and the symbol. When you're ready, take one more deep breath and slowly bring your attention back to your surroundings. Notice how you feel. You might feel more calm, focused, or energized. This exercise only takes a few minutes, but it can be a powerful way to reset your mind and connect with the meaning of your symbol. Try doing this exercise regularly, maybe once a day, or whenever you need a moment of reflection. Over time, you'll likely find that just thinking of your symbol can bring you a sense of peace or motivation. As we explore the world of spiritual symbols, you might have some questions. Let's address a few common ones that people often wonder about, not at all. Spiritual symbols are for everyone, regardless of your religious beliefs or lack thereof. You can choose symbols based on what they mean to you personally, not what they might represent in any particular faith tradition. The power of symbols comes from the meaning you give them and how you use them in your life. Absolutely. Many people find that different symbols serve different purposes in their lives. You might have one symbol for peace, another for motivation, and yet another for love. It's perfectly fine to use multiple symbols as long as it feels right to you and doesn't become overwhelming. That's totally normal and even expected. As we grow and change, our relationship with our symbols might evolve too. A symbol that once represented strength to you might come to represent peace or vice versa. 
It's okay to let the meaning shift or to move on to new symbols if the old ones no longer resonate with you. Many people find that using spiritual symbols does have a positive impact on their lives. However, it's important to remember that symbols are tools, not magic solutions. They work best when combined with your own efforts and intentions. Symbols can remind you of your goals, help you stay centered, and provide comfort, but they work alongside your own actions and attitudes. Keep exploring. There are countless symbols from cultures all around the world. If you haven't found one that resonates with you yet, keep looking. You might also consider creating your own symbol. Some people find that drawing or designing a personal symbol can be a powerful experience. Remember, there are no strict rules when it comes to using spiritual symbols. The most important thing is that they feel meaningful and helpful to you in your own life journey. As we wrap up our exploration of spiritual symbols, let's take a moment to reflect on the incredible journey we've been on. We've discovered how these simple shapes and images can hold deep meanings and powerful energies. From ancient traditions to modern practices, spiritual symbols have been guiding and inspiring people for thousands of years. We've learned that spiritual symbols are more than just pretty pictures or decorations. They're tools that can help us navigate life's challenges, find inner peace, and connect with something greater than ourselves. Whether it's a symbol of strength that helps you face a tough day, or a symbol of love that reminds you to be kind to yourself and others, these little reminders can make a big difference in our daily lives. Remember, the power of spiritual symbols lies not just in the symbols themselves, but in how we use them. By incorporating them into our daily routines, wearing them, meditating on them, or simply keeping them in our awareness, we can tap into their potential to transform our thoughts, feelings, and actions. As you continue on your own journey with spiritual symbols, keep an open mind and an open heart. Don't be afraid to explore different symbols, to let their meanings evolve for you, or to create your own. Your relationship with these symbols is personal and unique to you. Starting to use spiritual symbols in your life doesn't have to be complicated. Start small, maybe with a simple symbol as your phone wallpaper or a piece of jewelry you wear daily. Pay attention to how it makes you feel and how it influences your thoughts and actions. Over time, you might find yourself naturally drawn to incorporate more symbols in different areas of your life. Remember, the goal isn't to collect as many symbols as possible or to use them perfectly. The real magic happens when you find symbols that truly resonate with you and use them in ways that feel authentic and meaningful. Let them be gentle reminders of your values, your goals, and the person you want to be. As you go forward from here, I encourage you to stay curious about the world of spiritual symbols. There's always more to learn and discover. And most importantly, trust your own instincts and experiences. You are the best judge of what works for you and what doesn't. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the power of spiritual symbols in daily life. I hope you found inspiration and practical ideas to enhance your own life with these ancient and powerful tools. Remember, every symbol you choose and use is a step on your personal path of growth and self-discovery. Embrace the journey and let the wisdom of spiritual symbols guide you towards a more peaceful, purposeful, and connected life.